Hey guys, in this video, we're going to teach you how to create a fixed background image just like this. So notice that the background image stays in its place while the text scrolls up along with the page. So I use something very similar in my website, JS Prospect. Notice the background image stays in place. So that's what we're going to be learning in this tutorial. All right, before we start, I want to mention that we're using the Firefly Pro theme for this project. If you'd like it, go ahead and download it. It's absolutely free. All right, the first thing we want to do is create a container where our image is going to go. And let's output a message just so you can see that you can add things on top of this image. So we're going to say your content goes here. All right, we're going to give the body a height of 1000 VH. So we're able to scroll down and see this effect. All right, in the container, let's give it a width and height. I'm going to go with 100% for the width and the height. Let's go with 500 pixels. Go ahead and adjust these accordingly. All right, now we're going to use background position center together with background size cover. And this is going to ensure that the image fits perfectly inside of our container. All right, now let's add the image. And I'm just going to control V to paste the image that I'm using this project. You can go ahead and use any image that you want. Or if you want this image, I'm going to leave a link in the description to the URL. All right, now let's make the image fixed with this property background attachment fixed. And now we can see that the image is fixed but the rest of the content goes up when we scroll down the page. All right now let's place this text in the center of the screen. First, let's change the color to white and we're gonna use display flex, justify content center and align item center. All right, there we go. Now the only con about this is that currently we're using a width of 100% but let's say that we want it to go smaller. Let's do 500 pixels. Now notice that the image is not centered perfectly in the container anymore, even though we're using background position center and background size cover. Well, when we use this property, it kind of disables these two. So let's comment this out so we can see how it would look without it. And notice that the image is perfectly sitting in the container, but now with this it does that right so some of you might be thinking well we don't really need these two then right if they're not really doing their job but notice that when we comment them out now the image is really not centered so they are working just not as good as if we weren't using this property so my advice to you would be to use a width that is big enough to where you won't be able to notice so 80 90 or even 100 percent works let's do 80 just so you can see and notice that you can't really notice that the image is not centered. In fact, it looks like it is. So that's going to be it for this video. Please make sure to hit the like button and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.